Thank you to all of my YouTube members and patrons for helping support this channel. Slime, Madoix, Ari, Nomad, P Hat Heavy, Delongy Boy, Water, Mr. Ezekiel, Nate21, Alpha, Zaris JK, Naps, Smith, and Zulu. These guys help keep the lights on, and if you want to help too, you can subscribe to the Patreon from as little as $3.50 a month. G'day guys, and before this video begins, I just want to say a lot of you probably do know about this method that's happening in the game, and it's been going on for a long time from my research after this video. But remember, while this video was happening, this was my very first time coming across this method of farming. And you guys know how I like to do things around here, so I included a little cinematic at the start of the video. Oi, Max, can you go speak to Jim? Something's going on. Go and talk to him, he says. Why do I always have to do the dirty work? Jeez, come on, this is crap. Yep, there he is, always at the I bar. I was saying yeah, nah, nah, but they Jim. were saying nah. Hold on one second. What, mate? What do you want? Mate, it's me, Max. It's me. I'm, I'm you, but I'm not you. Listen, we're breaking the fourth wall. Stuff is going down, and I need you to investigate, mate. Stuff is getting really weird over in Edgeville, and we need to go and check it out. So if you're me, who's recording this? Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, get ready. Go get changed, come over, meet me in Edfield, and we'll sort this out, alright? Alright? Good. Alright, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye, Max! God, I hate that guy. Death, why'd you make me go speak to him? Seriously. I thought you two were friends. Me? Friends of Jim? Oh, you're having a laugh, aren't you? Jesus, I'll be better friends with Gaz. Have you seen the house that Jim lives in? It's falling apart, mate. It's got half windows. It's got barely any doors on it. I thought you said he lived on the west side of Arrow. Yeah, he does, mate. But not on the good side. He lives on the shoddy side. Just walking down the street, you'll get tetanus. Mate, this house is a u butte house. What a steal I got it for. All right, let's go over to Edgeville and see what Max wants. Jim, what the hell took you so long? You live literally on the other side yeah. of this wall. Mate. Do you know how hot it is inside this armor? Seriously, like, I'm burning. I'm going to turn into the burnt version of this armor soon. Anyways, Max, what are we doing here? You've taken me away from happy hour, and you know what? I'm not happy. Well, it all starts here. Yesterday, I was doing a clue scroll when all of a sudden there was three people standing right here where we are in the exact same armor. Bandos with a Sarodomin god sword. So I thought to myself, that was pretty weird. So I examined them and it got even weirder. They all had like no stats in anything other than combat and dungeoneering and the combat stats all had over 200 million XP. Jim, I need you to track down what is going on here. So you want me to go run around chasing these yahoos to figure out what's going on? I'm on it. If there is one person in RuneScape I know who knows how to get dodgy stuff done, it's this bloke here. This is Barry. Unfortunately for us, Barry speaks Australian. Oi, Baz! How's it going? Yeah, nah, nah, yeah, nah, nah, yeah, nah, nah. Oh, yeah, nah, nah, yeah, nah, nah. Yeah, nah, nah, yeah, nah, nah. Oh, yeah? Nah. Yeah. I love that guy, Barry, mate. He's, he's a classic, he's a classic. That's the Grand Exchange, man. And that is where our journey begins. Look at all of these bots. Look at all of these bots with the same gear. Bandos and Sara Swords, all of them. 27 hurt here. They've all got the same stats. They're all wearing the same gear. There is so many of them here. What the hell? How aren't these bad? There is heaps of them. Right now, there is so many bots here from Elite Dungeons 3, and they all have over 100 million combat XP. Some of them have 200 million combat XP. They're all around the same level, 876 skill. Look at this. They've all got Sara God Swords. They've all got Bandos Armor. Who are they trading? Who, who are they here? There is one person literally running. There's another one literally running about 30 different bot accounts that's clearly a new one who's only just started because it's got 161 million defense what i don't know what i just caught on to but yeah i definitely think i just found one of the biggest ed3 bot farms banking ever what was weird is that I found them standing out here, and that's what made me think it was weird. They were all standing here, and I don't know why. They didn't use the shortcut, they ran all the way around. For some reason they get to here, 
I don't know how they get here. Why would they come to this spot? Did I go to the Edgeville and walk up? I don't know. There's another one. 15. Oh, what? How many is here? One, two, three, four, five. And I'm assuming this is one too. That's a fresh account. So this one's only just started. I bet he's getting up and running because that name definitely screams bot to me. They've only just started. Or oh, that's the mule. Oh. <gasps> That's the mule. They're trading this guy. That's where they're all standing on him. This is crazy. The plot gets deeper. We've got them over here as well at Varrock West Bank, and they're all high alking, right? So this guy is high alking all of their stuff. So the bots offload their stuff to these accounts here, and they've got one of them who does nothing but just high alks. What? He just high acts all of their stuff because I just see one of the bots run through here and I was like, why is he in Varrock West Bank? And he just trades it off to the high alker. So that's how they're cleaning the money. They trade it to him. This guy high acts them so that the money transfers from items to GP. And then they get rid of it like that. What? Oh my God. We've actually got them trading. We've actually got them trading. This bot here, Boy and Drona, is trading Solval 6X, who just has basic skills. And then the bot runs away. What does this guy do? There's another one. It's an account in the workings. It's got 751 in all of these. That's another one that's in the workings. What the hell is going on? Okay, I'm going to trade him 50 GP. See what he does. He has attack potions. Why does he have attack potions? I went back to the Grand Exchange to see if I could find any more of these accounts and lo and behold, there was. Now, my calculations were starting to go over 30 accounts, which is crazy, all on the one world. It was at this moment here where I seen one of them teleport. However, it wasn't the Ring of Kinship and they weren't teleporting to the PVM hub. It was very interesting, which made me suspect something else was going on. To confirm my suspicions, myself and DeLonghi Boy went over to Elite Dungeons 3 entrance to see if we could find these guys teleporting. So we're just trying to hunt down this bot and we notice that they keep hopping worlds. Now on comparison, I've noticed that they have 85 Dungeoneering, but they have a lot of XP in combat, which means that that doesn't add, that doesn't add up. So they're using Dungeoneering to get to wherever it is they're training. I thought they were ED3 bots, but they're not. They're using Dungeoneering as a gateway to access somewhere, and I need to find where that is. The detective hunt is on. After 30 minutes of waiting around, nothing showed up, so I went back to War's Retreat to chase up another lead that I had. After looking at the Dungeoneering unlocks, it seems at level 85 you unlock the Frost Dragon, so I went to investigate. And just like that, I have found the bot that I have been looking for. They are... Frost Dragon Bots. Oh my god. I didn't want to believe it, but there we go. They are Frost Dragon Bots, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Imagine how much money this bot here has made alone. 162 million defense. 13 million. Oh my god. That is so much money brought into the game. And there was like 50 of these bots at the one time banking. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So it barges and then it slashes. Like it does the same rotation. Look at that. It barges and hits and basically almost instant kills the dragons. They aren't picking up coins. These bots leave the coins behind. And they can stay here because they're using Sara God Swords which heal them. They don't pick up the runes, they only pick up bones and charms. Like, they actually care about charms for some reason because they've got the charming imp. Alright, to confirm these suspicions, I've added the rest of the bots that I found on World 15, and they are all pretty much hot worlds, so let's just join them and see if they are here in the same dungeon on different worlds. Oh my god, this is so much money, guys. So much money. I'm actually going to work out how much that is. 
And yep, they're in the Frost Dragon Caves. There's that one. There's another one. There's literally one to a world. Unless I'm mistaken, there's one to a world. Oh, there's another one. Chill porn. I tried to add them as a friend, but I, I mistyped it or something. I was, I was looking for this one as well. This one has 77 million attack XP, 84 strength and 77 defense. So that one's definitely on a balanced setup. This one over here has 108 mil attack, 136 million strength, 31 million defense. Like how are these not bad? Oh my God, that is so much money in the game. And sure enough, there he is, right there in the middle. This one here has 27 million attack, 134 million strength, 134 million defense. Come on. Why are these bad? That's stupid amounts of money entering the game. Literally. I honestly thought this was going to be the end of the hunt and the end of the video, but no. The plot goes deeper because these are not actually bots. These are players, which means that they're gold farmers. After watching them for a while, I noticed something. Their clicks were too random to be a bot because they were using the Sarah God Source spec. Now, if you have that in an ability rotation, it doesn't automatically go off. You have to manually click that spec. Not to say that a bot can't do that, but for all of these accounts to be doing that, plus barging, plus randomly clicking different dragons, it was too good to be true. I'll tell you what he does. So he's using a 200. So he's using barge. He's using the spec. Backhand. Stab. Slash. Place. Backhand. Cleave. Um, yeah. So you just use barge. Okay. That's a player. Um, Where's I the think spec? Actually, you can. You, they're playing Revo plus plus. They are playing Revo. Wait. Can you? I don't. You can't spec in Revo plus plus. So it's either a boss or it is a gold farmer. Huh. You have to manually click your special attack unless it's, I don't know, built into the sword. Like it just goes off every time it's up. But now it kills them like instantly. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. I'm like, how quick are these things dying? On the eight, it's on the 8.5k though. When I was here before and I was watching them kill them, I was just like, what? I honestly, they're using every ability, whatever's on cooldown. <laughs> Literally, the fact that they're obviously barge is definitely number one in the bar. It's a gold farmer. We found gold farmers. Talk to it, see if it replies. Yeah, hello? <laughs> oh? Oh? Please tell me I'm getting one killed. Oh, come on. Yeah, <laughs> come no on. Get it killed. Go on, no go on. Antifire. Oh, this is so good. It, it won't be able to tell because it doesn't have um, the ability to log out. Oh, come on. Come on, die, 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 die. Please. No, it, it knows I'm up to something. The way that it stopped running around, yeah, it kind of makes you feel like that's a player. Uh huh. There's no way I'm about to do this. No way. Absolutely no way. So you're telling me they farmed 200 million. That's how they haven't been banned. Combat yeah, XP. What? Oh, it's a person. <laughs> oh my god. That's why they all met up in Edgeville the way that they did. Because that's why I was like, that didn't make sense. Why would bots meet at the the shortcut into Varrock? If they're on Revo, would the spec go off and all that stuff? No. They're manually doing that. Yeah, but then how are they barging? So and, and he's back. Yeah, okay, it's a player. They're freaking yeah. gold farmers, man. That's Wait, ridiculous. Wait, it doesn't go money. off? They are. They're manually inputting it. It's someone playing. So that means, yeah, they're even playing multiple accounts. But no, because they can't all be fighting. Like the one on my world right now is fighting perfectly. They're farmers. It's a team of farmers. I have to give them some credit, though. They're killing the dragons faster than um, the spec goes off. So they don't have to pull off them. We finally got one of them to speak and they said that they are from Asian. I wish it was more specific, but we got Asian out of them. At least. Maybe there's like some, maybe there's some underground gang network where like the Asian gold farmers are in like a war with the Venezuelans. 
So without being able to confirm where these gold farmers were actually from, I just wanted to make an example. So for this example, I'm going to choose Vietnam because this is definitely an area where this sort of gold farming would be very profitable to the person doing it. Most of the accounts had around 290 million combat XP. So let's assume that they were going to take ED3 as their main training source to get their dungeoneering. This leaves around 200 million combat XP from Frost Dragons alone. A Frost Dragon will give you 1,085 XP each, meaning that they killed 184,000 dragons on their account. As you can see, I was here with one of them and I went to the other side for a little bit to get a gauge on how much XP per hour they're getting. They're averaging around 350,000 combat XP per hour. This means they have been sitting at Frost Dragons for 580 hours or 23 days game time, which actually seems quite low to me. Perhaps they offload these accounts once they get to a certain point. I think they might be selling the accounts as well as the gold because the account seems to be fairly fresh. For example, my Mad Max account only has around 40 something days game time in the last year. I was using the same gear as them to also gauge how much money they were making. Now the average that I got was around 3 million GP per hour. And as I mentioned before, I seen over 30 accounts doing this and I wouldn't be surprised if there was more. So I'm going to say there is 50 accounts at a time doing this method. So the math is 3 million GP per hour times 50 accounts times their nine hour working shift means that this is bringing in 1.35 billion GP per day. For the next part, I had to go to some pretty dodgy places that you definitely want an antivirus for and you want to be running a VPN because it is some dodgy ass places. But we managed to work out that $1.35 billion in real world currency is worth $129 US dollars. According to Google, the minimum wage in Vietnam is only $180 US dollars a month and these guys are making $130 every day. Assuming this is a 10 man operation where there's five accounts per person, each person of the team takes home $364 a month, which is double the minimum wage. And that's assuming they're from Vietnam. Vietnam over there is in a much better state. If you're looking at places such as Indonesia, the minimum wage is $1,027 or $85 per month. And remember, it's $360 per person per month. These guys would be considered rich over there. It's crazy how deep this rabbit hole goes. From me just accidentally stumbling across three people in Bandos armor in Edgeville, to following them, tracking them down, finding what was actually happening, to now knowing what their sort of income is like and their living conditions, I kind of feel sad for these people as well because not only is it literally a really good income source from them, it is damaging the game because every year 492 billion GP from just 50 accounts, God knows how many there really is, but that's just 50 of them, is being brought into the game. And from making this video, I kind of understand why Jagex isn't doing anything about this because they can't do anything about this. It's so easy to make a Frost Dragon farming account. It's only 85 Dungeoneering. You can get that in one week of Elite Dungeons 3 trash runs. You could even just get someone to do the floors if you're making this money. So if you ban an account, they're back literally in three days doing the exact same thing. This is a problem that I guess doesn't have a solution. That's kind of why bonds exist because it's you can't beat them, join them. That's basically what the situation comes down to. The only way to stop this gold farming from happening is to stop people from buying gold. And just for comparison there, I wanted to say something. These people are making $47,000 USD if they can offload their gold. And this is where the morals really get tangled and twisted. It's like if we were to buy the gold using bonds, we're putting money back into the game for the development, but these people are probably just trying to stay alive in their country and try and feed their family. So I, I don't know, this is such a, a deep, connected, what do you guys think? Honestly, what do you guys think? 
they're just trying to make a living and feed their family, but at the same time, they're hurting the game, and it's just like, oh, I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know where I sit on this fence. But what I do know is that this was a lot of fun putting on my detective hat and just this was something really unexpected and I just decided to follow the breadcrumbs and I'm so happy that I found the uh, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, pun unintended. But there you go guys, thanks for watching the video, my name is Jim and I'll freaking see you later.